dragon. Far, far from home. Hello, welcome back to my channel, Lady T. My name is Natalie, and today we are going to continue with Robin. Uh, I still feel very nostalgic about this game before. I've never played it. I don't know why. There's just something about it that is making me a little bit sad. But in a good way, like very comfy, blanket, warmth, stuff. I, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure about what it is. Spread out before her. Dunes rising and falling like a sea of gold. It's really cool. Timeless and bewildering. A glow in the sand. I'll get you safely home. <gasps> a firefly. Oh. Another firefly. Escape from oh. the dragon's grasp. We have to collect them all, probably. Hey there, little one. You're safe now. Um, wouldn't make promises when that quick. Come from? I don't know. It's probably. There was something very unnatural about it. Like you're being tested. Just fall. Woohoo! Woohoo! If he is scratching, then that's my cat uh, messing up the moving boxes. A little wind won't stop me. Apparently, it will. skipped you. I hope that we haven't skipped any. It stopped. And otherwise that we can down there. that we can replay it if you'd like. Hey there. This place is sacred. His face fell off. Sacred. You don't look sacred. You're causing the wind. It's great fun, but have you seen a dragon blow by? Go away. Lay your old eggs. Take it out. The words will help him. But Robin's will was strong. Would not break that easily. Oh. Is that a forget word or ah? Oh, it's a stay word. Yeah, what do you think you're doing in your own land? I really need your help. I said go. And I said stay. <laughs> I could have just walked over, of course. Surprise! His face is falling off. Where's Mars? Good. Really? Really? I think he thinks that this is his land. Whoever you are. Guard away. I can't. I have to find the Go away. We probably have to break it just to find uh Having fun with everything. The yawning cave burrowed deep into the earth. Go there. Don't do that. To wondrous life. Easily scared. Do I need that? I don't want to miss out on anything. Oh. Robin felt like an explorer. Uh huh. 
But yeah, you see, I don't want to forget everything. Anything. Like an explorer. Oh. Oh, Dad, don't do that. Come on. The unknown. Far below the rolling dunes. Go there. He's like, I want some attention now. I what used to be down here. Maybe sand swimming desert pirates or one eyed troglodytes. I hope not. Oh, I want to get that. Okay, wait. Go there, don't. Forgotten chamber. The plant recoiled at the sound of her footsteps. We have to get down. We have to get up there. That is the guy we met. The silence of the ages filled the air. So we couldn't have gotten the other ones, at least. We have to backtrack a bit. The plant. Maybe we could have climbed up a bit quicker or a bit further. I'm just being prepared. It's quite a long reach, the silent uh, treatment. Ah, oh, fresh air. one on the right. A familiar foul-tempered voice drifted it down to him. Robin. I need to find it. I never listen. Sacred, I said. No one listen to me anymore. Hi! No 
have to do something? Robin had disarmed the djinn. His fury was great. Fortunately, his voice was very, very smooth. <laughs> <laughs> but the desert guardian would not let it rest. Oh dear. <laughs> oh. Do I have to catch him or Okay. I need to find the dragon. Yeah. Don't you get that? I really don't have time for this. But the djinn is an evil spirit, right? Okay, I'm not sure. That's it. So long. I'm not sure if that's a good sign. <laughs> What did Why you? would anyone choose to live here? Because it's home? There had been people here once upon a time. What happened to them? Who were they? I don't know. Lupus, what are you doing? He's just walking in front of the mic like I'm a sneaky thief. Why? Oh, Maybe I'll find answers here. The dome was empty, but for a pool of water. I'll jump in it. An oh. inviting place to rest. Robin's thought. Drifted to the people that once had lived here. She was sure they must have been. Mm. Philosophers. Philosophers. Does it change to what I think it is? A distant roar roused Robin. Dragon. I'll catch you yet. <gasps> oh, this is so awesome. The ancient statues toppled before Robin. I'm sorry. Didn't say they were, didn't say they were wise, I just said that they are philosophers. Again. The desert guardian was frantically looking for Robin. Stop hiding from me. He would surely find her eventually. Probably. Well, oh, we're in the wall like this. Easy. Don't be so cookie now. 
Despite the darkness, Robin's hope guided her. <gasps> it got shadows. Okay, that goes on, but there was also a way down. I don't want to miss anything. Okay. Crouching now works. Oh, it actually casts shadows on which side you are on. It is just stuck. Okay. Do we now know where to go? What? Okay, that's just stuff. Okay. Oh. Hope is not doing a whole darn lot for us. Why? The first time. Apparently you can't. Okay, this is just going to be a thing, isn't it? Oh, thank you. Oh, my hope is gone. Well, it was nice for as long as it lasted. <gasps> it must leave. It must. They mustn't know. What can't we know? Hmm. Well, now I'm curious. Sorry. Going to run into him again, aren't we? What is it with this guy? I don't know. You have tried to ask. I must see. No, 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 no. What has you so worked up, old windbag? The past. The past. Stays hidden. Why? It must. I'm kind of curious as to what it's over here. <gasps> here we are. Oh, but I did miss something then. Somewhere, probably. Sure we can No 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 you cannot go further Black How can I get him to listen? I don't know. Would she break the gym statue? Or repair it? What? You rebuilt my statue. Why? Guess it is kind. You aren't listening, but you look calmer now. I. I do not understand. It's Why not pity. I did not bathe you. Oh, no, he did. Everyone deserves a second chance mm -hmm. or a tenth. 
Or first. What's happened here? What did you do? Nothing. I failed. More than ten times. Let me show you. But it was already destroyed, so what would have happened if I destroyed it? No, Ooh. oh, we barely made that. If that was higher, so we can go, it doesn't go further up. Okay, it doesn't. I still have the power to go through ceilings, though. Secrets up here. Oh, I was once worshipped here. It was wonderful, but I grew complacent, arrogant. They warned me that great dangers were coming. And what did you do? Ignored it? Nothing. I believed that there was no danger I could not thwart. I was wrong. They paid the price. My being here must have brought back painful memories. That is as it should be. To feel something, even pain, after all this time. For that, I thank you. You're welcome. I don't need your thanks, but I do need to know if you've seen a dragon around here. It has come and gone, but there is something you should know about that beast. What was that? You're going to fall. Thank you. My friend, knowledge will be yours in time. Use it more wisely than I did. Mm, I really like it. It's beautiful, it's grand. Finish chapter three. This is already chapter three. I didn't get everything. Hi. Today at school. I got my history essay back. I wrote about Vikings. I love Vikings. Mr. Collins didn't like it. Why not? I won't be showing this to Mum. She has enough to worry about. Oh. Vikings are the best. They're tall. Well, probably. And strong. They love conquering. And fire. I love that she drew a, a female. Or it looks to be a female. Vikings are basically all kinds of awesome. I could really use some awesome right now. You're already awesome yourself. I got her old photo album out. I wanted to see Gran like I remember her when she was awesome. But every time I close my eyes. Bed. We're visiting the hospital later today.
When we arrived, Gran was asleep. Her skin looked so thin, almost see-through, like tissue paper. She was Gran-shaped, but empty. I mean, that's silly, right, Journal? It's just Gran, but somehow it isn't. It's not her! She woke up after a few minutes, but it didn't seem like she knew who we were. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Why her? It isn't fair! Why, Journal? How am I supposed to do it? That's a very good question. I don't Grand know. still can't speak properly. It's so cruel. She can't tell us anything. Like what she wants to eat? Or how she feels? And what's worse, everyone pretends they're having a real conversation with her. But they're not! Yay! That's the achievement that I saw that I wanted to get. You're doing fine, Barbara, the doctor said to her. You just need some time. Hospitals should make you better! She's so ill now! I want her better now! Just wait. Time is a healer. I thought that was his job. I wish I could help her. It makes me so mad! You just need some time. Nurse said it was dinner. Mum had ordered Gran soup and a jacket potato. But when Gran tried to eat by herself, she kept dropping her cutlery. Then I noticed. Mum had ordered her mushroom soup. Mushroom. Okay. Gran calls them nature's bogeys. Are you angry about that? Oh. You just want them gone, I think. Like mom doesn't even know. Uh, I think she's trying her best. I reminded mom about the mushrooms. She got that look and banged the spoon against the bowl. There was lip passing. But looking at Gran, I had to help her. You're all trying your best. I still had some loose change, so I ran, down to the entrance hall, where I'd seen a vending machine on the way in. Egg sandwich! Hurrying back to 305, I couldn't help but grin. They didn't let me back in! Adult talk. Ooh. Wait outside. That's what they said. So I waited on a bench until Mum came out the room. She said nothing. Just took me to the car. We didn't speak a single word. Not at the car park. Not during our drive home. Dad had made pies for tea. I just wasn't hungry. Dad said I needed to eat. I said if Gran wasn't going to eat, neither would I. He sent me to my room. Why would you do this as a parent? Come on. 
slammed the door really loudly and flumped onto my bed. I still had the egg sandwich. It was all mushed up. Everything is all mushed up. slowed her fall. Thanks, Grumpy Pants. Down and down she went, tumbling, helpless. Then and there, Robin started to... Fresh cream cry. Fresh. Fresh! But the darkness didn't care. Ninja skills. As Robin hurtled through the darkness, her helplessness no longer made her feel scared. It made her feel frustrated, angry. She wanted answers. Okay. I don't think you can get answers to every question you ask. Jin's magic gently released her into the unknown. Now where am I? That's a good question. Are we starting over? Yeah, so I missed something in the last level. But I don't think we can go back easily. Like there's no point the of return. Is warm to the touch. you didn't die uh yeah and what's that molten stone she'd seen nothing like this in her forest home i really miss fooling around with the village kids a stalactite hung above looking decidedly precarious The warmth, maybe? I don't think we should go there. Careful! What is this? I don't know. Probably a dragon? Something was unnerving about the pendulous <gasps> nature of the ceiling. Something was unnerving. You knew it, you knew it, you knew it, and still we went anyway. How come on I had that? Oh, oh, okay, I could have been a bit closer. Get a free more of a oh, a lot more than that. A bit, yeah. I need to find whatever is causing this and stop it, or I'll be smushed. As the sound got closer, Robin realized she would soon face its maker. Okay, here we go. Oh, 
Hello. Fire and flame wraps her form. Hey! Maybe they Stop are gender that. neutral. You'll bring the whole cave down. But the giant has just <laughs> kept on pounding. Maybe that's better. It's not like I might die over here. I don't think the sarcastic attitude is going to help you much. This definitely looks unsafe. Definitely. Lava gently bubbled, as if to mock her lack of progress. How do I get there then? How do we get up there? Do you work? If I needed that. Boom. Kaboom. Okay, how do we get there then? Okay, where do we keep it? Okay, we keep it. Oh, that's... Oh, wait. We could have done that a little more safely. Be run. Ah! Right. Not listening or ignoring. I don't care. I have to stop her. Oh. Inside Robin was a white hot rage. Why? Oh, oh. <gasps> hey, you. Don't think she's going to be happy about that. Hey, whoever you are, you nearly killed me. Hey, it's you her home. Balls. That's not fair. 
Oh. What is wrong with you? Oh. Girl. Yeah, good question. You break into her home. My a good idea. Robin didn't quite know what she'd encountered. Sheesh. She's good up. She's so angry. Yeah. The thought stuck with Robin. What's wrong with her, I wonder? Whew. I think I need a breather. A place to rest. Oh. Robin was beginning to feel the burn of loneliness. Ah, better. Robin's thoughts drifted back to the burning giantess. Why would she be so full of rage? She must have felt misunderstood she smashes stuff because no one understands her maybe i get that do you you don't see me Robin going right my she stuff more understanding instead of judging so harshly if they met again Step forward. As the light oh, that's pushed back the darkness, a heaviness lifted from her heart. Oh. That was strangely satisfying. There are compilations for that if you'd like. Oh well, that's also everything then. Yeah. Now you're doing the same thing as the giants us, but you're just blowing everything up. Okay. Yeah? Do you realize? Close again. Robin was adrift on the current. Without control. Don't know why we're doing that. Lost but on the flow of lava. We can, so might as well. It would take her where it wished. went faster and faster don't ah fuck can we go back just said oh all the way robin was adrift on the current without control Sometimes it's better. Lost on the flow of lava. 
Oh, 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 I almost was. I wasn't watching. It would take her where it wished. And here we're going faster. It's speeding up. That can't be good. The burning river went faster. I really want to get that thing. And faster. Thank you. Oh, hi. I'll stay close. Saying Run, anything. Let's stop the empathy. No, that's not. Thundering steps shook the earth. Yes, it did. It does do. Holy freaking do. <gasps> oh, we're not fast enough. We're not fast enough. We're not. Oh, well, behind you. Right behind you. If you'd like to run. Right yeah, exactly. So happy that we don't have to look for the fireflies at this point. Can we go a little bit faster? It's not empathy. You look. We're trapped and it's all your fault. I hate this place and no, I hate that's not you. empathy. smiled as her anger left it brought a change she wasn't so giant after all oh hi you did it again lump's anger gone lump nice to meet you i'm robin sorry i was so angry lump sorry too lump scared lump when lump's so big what were you angry about that's a bit scary lump was like okay goodbye Oh, sorry. Dragon. I'll show you. But first, we need to get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just then, Robin noticed a boom stream she hadn't seen before. I hope it doesn't kill Lump. You coming? 
No. It's home here. Not nice, Robin. Oh. Okay. Leaving me behind here. Five life will stay, I guess. Achievement unlocked. A new companion. <gasps> Hello, Jano. Really? Today, Sarah at school told me. Yes. Her granddad had a stroke too. His mouth went lopsided. Mm. And he spoke a little funny. Now he mostly sits around, watching the telly. I don't think Gran would enjoy that. Me neither. She'd feel like she was giving up. She'd want to keep moving. Keep doing things. Mm. Gran always says. Give the world your kindness and it will return it threefold. Give the world your kindness and it will return it threefold. The more positive energy and kindness you give the world, the more you get back. That's why she was always helping people. She's like a superhero of kindness. That's so nice. When Mr. Parry's lawn got too high, mm -hmm. Gran cut it for him. Ooh. For the community center meals, she baked cakes. Lots and she lots even does of cakes. The unthinkable. And that is? She changed Ben's smelly nappy. No, she didn't. We could do with kindness right now. Someone better step up. Me! I like these characters behind these on the sticky notes. You are superior. With bringing world peace? Cooking for the elderly? Cutting Mr. Parry's lawn? Tidying my room? That's it. That's what we're starting with. Bringing order to chaos. A mighty struggle needs a suitable tagline. It's tidying time. Was there everything? I think it is. Ooh. And then I did the washing up from breakfast. That's so nice without being asked. Then he bowed at my feet. He's such a complete numpty. <gasps> we got an achievement unlocked. It's a miracle. But it made mum laugh. And when we got to the hospital later, Gran was sitting in a chair. Okay. And looking out the window. She was smiling. So all the things I've been doing have been working. ACB Cook Miracle Work Extraordinary. I just have to do more. Oh, be careful about that. You don't have to do everything to keep there everything in order. There was tea, which is a kind of vegetable torture. But I told myself that if I could eat all of it, then Gran would be even better yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's not how it works, sweetie. It isn't your fault. I 
on fire today. Good. I ran up the stairs two at a time just to top things up. Pinky was very impressed and slept on my feet all night. No, oh, wobble for uh, hello again. Hello again, Jana. I couldn't sleep. I guess I felt a bit silly. I mean, who cares if I eat my kale? Sweet. Well, Dad, maybe? But does any of this really make a difference? Oh, I almost had it. Can I even get to it? Maybe just not from here? Okay. It's just... If there's a sliver of a chance, it actually does. I want to believe in it. Thank you. Sarah told me that when her granddad was sick, she used to pray. I don't exactly know how that she works, said. but best to hedge my bets. Please, 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 make Gran well. Sarah's family are pretty religious. Mm -hmm. Not like mum and dad. I don't know that much about religion, actually. I like the stories, especially the one about hmm. the ark and rescuing all the animals. Gran was raised Catholic. Okay. But I never really heard her talk about God. Apart from that time she dropped the yogurts in Tesco. <laughs> we took care of the mess before the staff noticed. Gran even offered to pay for them. But why would I she? asked her once. She said, if there is a god, they're in our actions. How we help and love one another. Seems right to me. So what should I do? I'm going to bring in my story next time we go to the hospital. Oh, that's so nice of you. I can read it to her. I think she'd like that. Maybe if I do a really good job, she can come home in time for Ben's birthday. There's nothing you can do, sweetie pie. But first, I need to get on with the story. Having escaped the flaming caves, Lump and Robin ventured into... A tenebrous forest. Thanks to Saurus. Writing Lump is going to be fun. Hopefully. But if she's not so angry anymore, she might need another character flaw. Maybe... Uncontrollable cravings for... Sweet fruit, sour fruit, or stink fruit. Definitely taste of sweet fruit. Sweet fruit. This is where we are going to end the episode. So we're first going to watch the little intro to this new person that we're going to meet probably. 
gentle sunlight streamed across their faces. Sun! I missed you. I missed you too! Yes! And the dragon. That's the dragon. We've got to follow it. Or not. Dragons? Dragon. But we're going to end off here. Thank you so much for watching and we're going to continue in the next episode. I hope you had a lovely time and I hope you will have a lovely day. Goodbye.